good morning i am on my way to the pool grandma left like an hour ago and i stayed up late reading i'm almost done with one of my books so that one book that i've been reading for a really long time i finally was able to like almost finish I have five more pages and then i'm gonna finish another book that i started a long time ago <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna go meet her at the pool just got dressed and i got sunscreen on i just need to put sunscreen on my face i have body sunscreen on but yeah just wearing my uh bathing suit as you can see and then with some shorts and then i got my little tivas well they're not they're not i got my sandals that i got from walmart all those years ago and by all those years ago i mean last year i hey. even tried this one to read I can't even get it to, to you know, it's... <coughs> Anyways, so I'm going to finish reading this. I have only five more pages of the Time of Content, which is part of the Witcher series. As you can see, it's a show on Netflix. I love fantasy novels. I love fantasy shows. And then um, I was given this book called gentle and lowly and i'm only three chapters in i've been like uh underlining in here it's kind of it's called the heart of christ for sinners and sufferers it's a really good book but it makes you kind of reflect so it's a little bit hard to get through because it causes you to reflect on your own life um and kind of see like what you're doing like what's going on in your own life so grandma is upset anyways so i have five more pages of this uh fantasy novel and then i'm going to read gentle and lowly which i've heard is really good and it is like the first two chapters that i've read are really good it's just you know they'll take some time to get through It's, it's a photo. I, <laughs> you just started talking and you're just going to take a photo. <laughs> I can't. Okay, huh? we got to go. We got to go. Oh, shoot. I remember this day. <laughs> I caught it on camera. This is so good. Oh, gosh. That was hilarious. Universal City is only $39? doubt that that's true. I don't think so. Because that lady was telling us it was like two hundred and one dollars. Yeah. Per person. It used to be less than a hundred dollars. Yeah. And then, Sixty some dollars was the highest, and I thought that was expensive. And now two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. which means dollars. it would basically be four hundred. I'm just like, listen. No, I am going there. I don't want to go there. Not bad. <laughs> Oh. 
like my sweet plantains. Oh, okay, skirt, steak, chuck, chuda, skirt. A 10 ounce with. Oh, this is hot. This looks real good. Your lemon breeze is good. Excellent. And we got the wings with this uh, citrus mustard. Really good. Together? Everything together? It's really good. We got some plantain with the baked salmon, yellow rice, and broccoli. This place is so good. We've we told them at the beginning that we had a lactose allergy, both of us, and we tried ordering some food, and then they came back being like, "That has dairy in it." So we can't give that to you. And they were just like really looking after like us to make sure that we were okay and that we could eat what we are able without having any issues. And yeah, like 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 would recommend this place. Like the food comes out hot. Like you don't gotta worry about having cold food. Like it comes out hot, it comes out. Free. And our server's really great. The staff has just been really nice and very friendly and very accommodating. And grandma just loves her food. We just got a side of plantain and it's so good. Everything is so good about this place. <laughs> and it's flavorful. It's not just like the temperature of the food is hot. Like the food is very, very flavorful. It's so delicious. Everything we've had has been good. Even to her lemon breeze, which is a lemonade, right grandma? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's really liked it. So if you come to Kissimmee, Florida, check out Bahama Breeze. We just finished. We just finished up shopping. It is so hot. Right, Grandma? Mm -hmm. It is so hot. So we're done. And we're going to head back to the resort now. acai bowl with mango, banana, uh, and blackberry, and it comes with um, uh, coconut oil, honey, and coconut flakes and granola. First up is Adidas or Adidas. So we got some compression socks here. It was in that lane where they get ya, but I needed socks and compression socks are really good. And then I have been really into squirts lately. So I got myself this really nice colored blue, like cobalt blue, skort. And it has like the shorts underneath. Really cute. And I think everything in store was like 40, 50% off, an additional 50% off. And then grandma, I saw these cause she wanted some more biker shorts. So I got her these. And it has the cute little raised emblem from Adidas. So that is everything we got from Adidas. Next up is Target. 
We needed, well, my grandma needed an umbrella. And so we just got to looking around. I got this off the shoulder top, long sleeve and brown. And then I got these socks because they were $3 in clearance. And my camera's dying, so I'll try to be quick. Then went to the hair salon because I needed to get some hair stuff because we're going to braid my hair at the end of this week, twist it. So I got minis of the Cantu uh, shampoo and conditioner and leave-in conditioner. Got this curly hair and then matte gray hair. And that is the haul. That is all we got. We did do a lot of walking around, so we are tired. So I might go for a walk after we rest a little bit. I'm probably gonna read Gentle and Lowly. So it's really good so far, I'm three chapters in. This also got really bright. So there's that. But yeah, that's all we got today. I mean, grandma got some other stuff from Target, a dress and an umbrella, but yeah. Oh, she also got this. I don't know what this is for. Firm Holt Spritz Hairspray, freezes hair in place. So that's another thing that she got. But that is the haul. She went to go eat her acai bowl because I devoured mine. It was really good. Oh, they are yeah, in there. They are. They are. I just heard them. Yeah, I don't know why when I went this way. We got this from Trader Joe's. Um, so, <laughs> when we went to Trader Joe's, we got some peach Bellini wine. The last time we were here last year that you guys saw, we got that wine that we just got several bottles of because we really liked it. They don't have it <laughs> when we went to Trader Joe's this time. So we got the peach Bellini. It is Secco peach, a wine specialty. So we'll see how we like this one. If we really like it, we'll get more. If not, we'll just drink this one. taste test. I'm not pouring my grandma a drink because she's in the shower, so I don't want to pour her one and then it, you know. Yeah, it's a little bit more tart. Still sweet, but on the tart side. So that is good. And yeah, it tastes as though it, like it could be grapefruit. And I'm not the hugest fan of grapefruit, but yeah, I feel like the tartness of it kind of tastes like grapefruit, so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But it's not bad. It's not bad. But yeah, after she takes a shower, I'm going to take a shower, and then I'm going to read Gentle and Lowly. I ended up taking a nap, like a 30 to 45 minute nap, 
And then we went on a walk, as you just saw. And now I'm pouring myself a glass of Seco Peach Benini. I am going to chat with y'all tomorrow. Most likely we're going to start our day at the pool. Because that is going to be our goal uh, this week. My grandma really wants to get into the pool to do some exercise. And so do I. Because I didn't really like bring workout gear. Because I'm still not really approved to work out. So just getting into the water. Doing like some light exercise is good for me. I can't do like intense workouts. I can do pretty light workouts like going for a walk and then going into the pool and doing a little bit of aerobics is not too bad. So anyways, I will see y'all later. I'll see you tomorrow. So I'm just going to end out this vlog here. And if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!